Hi friends, welcome back to my studio. I'm Katie and I am about halfway done with the September's 30 Inks 30 Days in which I am mixing Birmingham Pen Company's Atom Minx. So just a quick recap, I bought eight bottles, well one bottle each of um, most but not all of their Atom Ink elements. Uh, it's worth noting there's two styles of these. There's the like keystone or delicate formula. Those are dye based. And then there's the, um, there's a different set that's pigment based. And you can see that on the labels here. The other thing that's worth noting is that since I bought these, they have mostly switched from the 100 mil bottles back down to 60 mils. Uh, people, I think, were not pleased with the switch. So if you buy them, you may get something different than what I did. Uh, they are, I've confirmed with them, the the amount listed in the description is the right amount. They've, they're going through like a website change. So a lot of them have pictures of a 30 mil bottle. It'll say it like on the label, but then the description is 60 mils and it leaves you like not really being sure how much you're getting. Go with the one in the description. There all are also a few hundred mil bottles still kicking around too. So that's that's the heads up. Anyhow, you can watch the previous video. Um, I'll link it here, but let's talk about how it's going. So I am having so much fun, although I will admit that this page has kind of turned into a mess. I, I had a few mishaps, but I actually filmed every day as I was doing these and it just became unwieldy. I'm like dreading dealing with the footage and also it was a reason that I was like putting off and so I was getting like days behind. So I'm just going to do this retrospectively for right now and then at, again at the end of the month I'll do the next two weeks and I think that will work well for you and for me. So anyway, enough blabbering on. So in the first video, I showed the basic Atomic ones. I picked out Hibiscus, Electron, Sterling Silver, Ladybug, Tiger Lily, Saltwater Taffy, and Tea Berry Ice Cream. And Gunpowder, which is a black, which I have, um, but I'm not using at the moment because I want to make colors. Um, and I also got the Dilution Solution, which I haven't started using yet, but I probably will. Uh, all of these colors are super vibrant. So let's go look at the at, at them in my journal because it's better with a... So uh, hibiscus is the kind of color that doesn't often show up well on screen, uh, but it's um, like a light, well, a, a medium kind of blue-green. I think it's a turquoise is what it is. This one is Electron. This looks to me kind of like Konpeki. It might not be an exact match, but that's that's very much the vibe. It's got a little bit of red sheen. It's a nice shader. It's much darker. I will do more experiments, but I'm pretty sure that if you dilute Electron down to Hibiscus, you'll get a very... They have the same undertones. So I don't think that like... They are different. They are just darker. I haven't proved that thoroughly. Um, I was going to mess around with it more, but um, I'll maybe do a video at the end of the month where I talk about like if I was building a kit, which ones I would keep because I don't think you need all eight of the ones that I got. Um, so they are both kind of cool undertoned, meaning they've got a little... Um, yellow in them um, so they lean a little tealy turquoise rather than um, having a little red in them where they like lean a little like purple and um, I wish in watercolor you try to have one that leans one direction and one that leans in the other direction and they just feel like they lean the same direction uh, but they're still both beautiful and I love having them. So, you know, if you want all the inks, I say by all means get all the inks. And if you want to follow the recipes that Birmingham has written online, um, then 
they have recipes including both of these although i will say hibiscus is one they use a lot in their recipes so in some ways that would could be a reason to get this one but if this one's actually just the more saturated than this one then maybe this one makes more sense you just have to dilute it Here's sterling silver. It's like a surprisingly neutral gray. Maybe it leans a little cool. Um, when it goes down when you're writing with it, it definitely leans cooler, a little green, a little blue, but then it dries a little more neutral. This has ended up being one of my favorite mink singings. We'll get talking about that. Here's ladybug. And it's like very slightly pink, but in general, it's a fairly true red. Um, but yeah, lean, ever so tiny pink. Here is Tiger Lily, which is definitely an orange yellow. Uh, we're still waiting for the true yellow to come out. Although when I've cleaned out my syringes after using this, it, when it's dilute, it's like neon yellow. So I think it's possible that you can get some purer mixes than you'd expect from this if you're using less of this than you'd think. I haven't experimented with that yet, but it's definitely on my list to do. This one is saltwater taffy. I don't know how it's going to come up on the screen. It is like eye-searingly neon pink. Uh, maybe slightly warm leaning with a little yellow. Um, but only very slightly. Here it is compared okay, to... Uh, Tea Berry Ice Cream. And like the blues, I kind of think they're actually the same color. They look pretty different, but when you dilute them, I think they're maybe the same color, just different intensities. Here I was messing with them. They're not obviously different. I don't know that you'd need both, but they are pretty each on their own. And now we got to the first of the mixes. So let me go back to the monthly view. So what I was doing is I was taking a pen. This one was first. So this is my pen that's inked with hibiscus. And I was using a syringe and I was just dropping a couple drops into the feed. And what happens when you do that is you get a mix, but it also doesn't like, I mean, it, it does contaminate your, um, your syringe, uh, your converter, but not as much as you think, um, as you can see. Uh, I didn't stay with the green. So I just, I would drop a few drops in and I started doing one swatch from the beginning and one from later because the colors for some of them do shift. So I wanted to try making green and so I added a little bit of tiger lily to the hibiscus. Took my bookmark out. It's coming back to bite me. And uh, here that is. So it made like um, a beautiful, honestly, this is a like beautiful grass green right here. But then as you keep writing, the yellow that I added to the feed starts to reduce and so it becomes bluer and bluer which is the color that the pen is inked with as I go so it goes from like a grass green to like a really beautiful emerald color I would use all of this um totally totally up my alley um and I was glad to see this more emerald color I wasn't sure how we were going to be able to do that uh, with the particularly orangey yellow, but I, I really, I really, really like that. Then, uh, this was a less successful experiment. This is adding sterling silver to the electron. It's a beautiful color. I would use this color all day. It's like, um, yeah, it's, Sterling silver, I think, adds um, some really nice, like, haloing. I think you can kind of maybe see that, hopefully. Beautiful shadow shadowing and haloing, and just a really beautiful, slightly muted teal. But this is not the right way to get there. Um, 
by adding a couple drops of sterling silver into electron like I had to add so much it, it's just the wrong order this is a way more powerful ink than that one and so you you'd be much more successful starting from sterling silver and adding a little electron than the other way around but you know we're having fun so let me show you that so that's here and you can see we went from I don't even know if this is going to pick up on camera um, from this kind of more fun color with the sterling silver. It like it really didn't last long. We are not that. It's it's greener. I mean, it is different. It's 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 the middle step here. Uh, I don't know. But uh, I would gladly make this color again, but I would I would approach it in another way. Then I wanted to see what kind of mixes I can make starting with sterling silver. So I added a little tiger lily and I got this cool like mustard color that changed even into a slightly more brown desaturated version, which was really fun. You can see it here. Um, starting from the more mustard and getting to the like the more gray brown. This ended up kind of being like a lead to tay kind of color. Uh, which I really enjoyed and would definitely use again. You'll notice a pattern here. Then I wanted to try making some purples, and uh, purples are where I'm least certain, although I think there's room there's room to explore here, but I haven't nailed it yet. Uh, not that these are ugly colors, because they're really not, but I took Ladybug and added a little Electron to it, and Electron is a super potent ink. Um, I might have been better served by doing hibiscus, and I also might have been better served by, like, doing these two if I wanted, like, a violet color. But this is a beautiful eggplant kind of color. Um, so when you mix, uh, a blue that has, like, a little bit of green to it with a red, you're not gonna make it, like, a super vibrant kind of purple. You're gonna make more an eggplant, um, kind of color just because that little bit of yellow is muddying up your mix. So it's beautiful, um, and I did really enjoy it. Uh, honestly, if I were naming this ink, it would probably be one of these, like, wine kind of colors, because um, it, it, that's, that's what it looks like to me. Uh, but really lovely. As you can see, we're experimenting with our secondary colors. That's what makes sense. So now I, I did two orange mixes. They didn't really end up being that different from each other. So I'll talk about them together. To the tiger lily, I added a little bit of ladybug. And I went from like a red orange to an orange. And to saltwater taffy, I added some tiger lily. And maybe it's a little more vibrant. But honestly, these are all playing in the same space together. Here's... The ladybug version here. I do really like this red orange at the top. And uh, here is the tea berry ice cream. I'm not sure they're like notably different. And then to tea berry ice cream, which is like super vibrant neon kind of color, I added some sterling silver and I got this like beautiful gray purple pink variation and again some great haloing which i think it probably happens in other things too but seems to be most likely to happen with the sterling silver so that's here and um i did end up having to do two passes of adding color to it so we've got two gradients here to look at uh, but i love this like purple here that it made and then it went into like a, a very pleasant kind of pink way less saturated than the pink by itself right you can compare maybe so this this stuff is like eye searingly bright these are like way more pleasant in my opinion um as mixes and then I, I added a little more and it got a little grayer before working its way back to pink uh and then here's where I would normally stop but I haven't so uh here's our first third 
color mix. So to this color here, which was tiger lily and hibiscus, I added a little bit of tea berry ice cream. And I thought I was just, I thought I was only adding a little bit, but it's really hard to do that. The method I'm using does not provide a ton of control. And so I must have added more pink than I thought, but I had a little pink. I was maybe trying to make like a duller green, but I overshot that. And so we actually went straight up into purple. And at first that looks a fair amount like this eggplant here, although a little bluer, but uh, we got some beautiful transition here. This color here honestly reminds me of um, eroded bronze, which is a, a very popular um, Birmingham ink color. So here we are, I would call this maybe like an iris kind of color, kind of blue purple. Um, I'm sure plenty of people, like you could also call this a blue black, I think if you wanted to, blue black purple, really nice. And then it transitioned to more and more blue, but kind of a, a desaturated blue. And, and like these colors in here, I really like a lot. I'm not really a, uh, blue ink kind of person in general, but you make them muddy enough, and I really do. I've just been kind of staying away from the, like, things that feel like primary school color kind of blue, which this is pretty far. So anyway, I'm having a ton of fun. I am so glad I bought these. And I'm going to keep working my way into these more weird mixes. I, I'm being pretty loose about it. Uh, I just watched Jana's wonderful video. I'll put a link to below of the mixes that she made and she had like palettes and was carefully doing ratios and that is totally up my alley and nothing I kind of expect that I will do. But this for me right now is, is way looser. I'm just playing, you know, I don't even know yet what I'm going to mix with this. Uh, you know, I just kind of take it one day at a time. I might make another green. We haven't done enough green, so I might add a little more um, tiger lily to it and see where we end up because I don't feel like the greens have been super well represented so far. Um, and maybe I'll do that actually to both of these. So anyway, I'm having so much fun and I really appreciate those of you who commented on the last video and said you were excited to see it. Uh, for those of us who overlap with um, kind of other kinds of mixy hobbies like paint or whatever else, this is a ton of fun. But even if that's not a thing you're into, if you like the idea of being able to, you know, make the exact color that you're looking for and not having to own, you know, hundreds of different inks, I think this is, this is a great way. And it's just a fun way to play and to see what happens. So... If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you'd like to hear more from me, the subscribe button will help you do that. And uh, if you comment below, which of these mixes was your favorite? I'd be curious to hear. All right. Bye, friends.